Okay, gentlemen, Coach Alan, I will start with you. Alam ko, nahirapan kayo pag-isipan ko. <laughs> Your all-decade starting five ng PBA. Go. Well, sa point guard position, uh, with all due respect sa mga magagaling na point guards in the likes of uh, Jason Castro, Kabagnot, uh, Ross, and L.A. Tenorio, ang pinili ko rito si Jimmy Alapag. Considering na he won his MVP in 2011, he got five uh, best player of the conference, member of the 40 greatest, and uh, ang maganda kasi rito, ano bang barometer natin sa point guard? After Hector Calma, Johnny Abarientos, and I think he's the closest sa navigation ko in terms of yung impact sa liga. Yung, yung smartness niya, yung leadership niya, at the same time, yung quickness and his shooting compensated dun sa kung ano mang uh, kulang niya, dun sa size niya. Di ba? Kaya parang overall, kaya siya ang pinili ko sa point guard. Well, sa, sa two guard, Mark Kagiwa. Kasi he got his MVP 2012 and a couple of times he won the best player of the conference and he's the charismatic leader ng Ginebra during that time. Nag-start yung karin niya nung early 2000 but eventually na, na, nabigyan siya ng magandang uh, ano nung when he got the MVP ng 2012. So he's in my list. Yun, I'm sure it gives you immense pride <laughs> to see him kasi <laughs> you were there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ako yung nag-recruit. Okay, uh, uh, small forward. Well, it's a small forward. Uh, I, I think I'll choose ano, uh, Arwin Santos. He's the MVP in 2013. Same thing. Same based on the category na pinagpilian ko. Nanalo siya ng twice ng best player of conference, dalawang mythical awards. He was the Finals MVP and All Star MVP, and he's a constant member ng All Defensive Team. So nilagay ko siya don sa three spots. And then so four, it's a toss up for me. Medyo na hirapan ako dito nung una between Pingris and RDO. Pero eventually pinili ko si RDO kasi yung consistency niya in terms of yung yung nadala niya all the way to the FIBA Asia and FIBA World. Parang siya na establish niya yung position as the number one power forward in the league that 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 era. Consistent din siya na naging best player of the conference and vital card siya ng during that time ng talk and text nandun sa championship nila. Kaya siya yung napili ko. Kasi si Ping that time medyo may mga injuries na and everything. Kaya I gave it to RDO. And your center, your all-decade center. No-brainer. It's Junmar Pajardo. No explanation needed. Tapos ang usapan. Junmar is Coach Alan's best center of the decade and you know it's hard to argue it's impossible to argue and that's why kasama din si Jun Mars so again recapping the all decade 5 of Coach Alan Jimmy Alapag Mark Kagiwa Arwin Santos RDO Jun Mar Fajardo Coach Topex your all decade 5 oh it's I would go with Alex Alex Cabagnot Jason Castro Calvin Abueva RDO and Jun Mar Fajardo first Alex and uh, Jason kasi, the reason why I categorize him at uh, the, the two spots is uh, for, the, for the year 2010 to 2019, they played the most finals. So, silang dalawa yung uh, played in the most finals uh, position na yun. Again, Coach uh, Alan mentioned sila LA and ano, but I would go with, uh, with these two uh, because of what they brought uh, to the table for, the, uh, for San Miguel and uh, Talking Text. So, yung kabagnot, pabalik-balik mm -hmm, sa yeah. finals, all the clutch shots. Yes. And then yung Jason Castro naman. No doubt. Yeah, I mean, uh, ganda ng uh, pinakita ni Jason. Won, uh, won a lot of awards also. Uh, I think sa akin din to run is the stint that he had uh, sa na for playing for the national team. So being one of the, cat na, na name siya as one of the best guards in Asia. So that's big for me. Okay, small forward. Calvin Abueva. Uh, Again, there, there are other names that came out, but uh, for me, when I say Calvin, is, uh, he brought Alaska to, to, to a different frontier when, uh, after Coach Tim. So, he's the guy that uh, really brought Alaska. Won a championship, uh, won uh, individual awards, but the finals appearance then that he brought in uh, really, um, for me, cemented him uh, to the three spot. Same kami ni Coach uh, Alan sa uh, fourth with RDO. Yung kay RDO kasi nag-carry on din from that uh, past decade to now. And then up to now, still playing. He still uh, contributes a bit. But yung uh, chunk niya nga, uh, contribution niya kasi is really ang laki ng binigay niya for Talk and Text eh, when he used to play for that team. Won a lot of championships. 
uh, took a lot of uh, clutch shots also. So, ang laki nung, uh, yung four talaga, yan, yeah, Ping uh, also is, is a big part of it. But yun, due to injuries din ni, ni Ping, so that's why I, I go with the RDO. And obviously, no-brainer, Barna na uh, best center is, is uh, Jun Marfajardo. Not just the five MVPs and uh, five MVPs and counting, <laughs> but what he always brings in. Talagang uh, across the board consistency. Uh, at alam natin, he's only 30 years old, so <laughs> marami pang uh, so much to expect. Kumbaga, yung barometer ng big man, and uh, that's Jun Marfard. You know, somebody asked me on Twitter uh, just the other day. Tinanong ako, Tito Biko, can Jun Mar win 10 mm -hmm. MVP awards? Oh, eh, buhang mag na. <laughs> so, kaya ba? Yes or no? There's a possibility, pero sana ingatan lang niya yung injuries. Yan ang magiging kalaban niya ngayon. Di ba? Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, uh, sky's the limit for him. He's only 30 years old. Yun, uh, yun nga, injuries ang, ang isang bagay. But I know he knows how to take care of himself. So, it's a possibility. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. The Trigger Man, Coach Alan K. Dick, and of course, our good friend, Coach Topic Robinson. Guys, salamat and happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Thank you. Up next, we'll talk to one of the best basketball players of the decade, now turned Alan Filipinas head coach, none other than Jimmy Alapag. We'll continue to fire up the hard court when the score returns.